Here's the thing, students. Yes, these are bubbles, but let's imagine they are our emotions. Not our happy or sad emotions, but the emotions that are our love emotions. It's February, which means love is in the air. So let's jump in and let's get an understanding of how not to get these guys stirred up until you are ready. Hey, Captain Love, drop that beat. Talking about love and sex can be a little awkward, but here's the dealio. We still have to talk about all this stuff and our number one goal for you is you make a plan. That's right. Make a plan for either your current relationships and your future relationships as well. Our theme verse for the series is not, and I repeat, not a quote from Taylor Swift or Shawn Mendes, even though they are made to look like they are love theologians. Actually, our theme verse for this series is going to be from King Solomon. And we can see our theme verse from King Solomon from the book of the Bible called Song of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 4. And it says this, it says, Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you, do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. Time out. Now before all my guys completely check out because it sounds like this verse is just for the girls. It's actually for all young people. All right. So it says, young people, I charge you, do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. Now, arouse and awaken, it means to wake up someone or something. That, my friends, is an amazing theme verse. So let's get ready to make a plan. Here we are, off to a great start, but what is love? Like honestly, what is love? You see, love is pretty hard to explain or define, but we are in luck because the wise King Solomon, he gives us a great definition. All right, so let's look back at the book of the Bible called Song of Solomon, and in chapter 8, verses 6 and 7, it says this. It says, for love is as strong as death. It's jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like a blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot wash it away. That is an amazing definition. So love is strong as death. It's jealousy unyielding as the grave, and it burns like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot wash it away. Love is serious, so now we know that we should let love sleep until we are ready. So how do we do that? Now let's make a plan as we need to understand what stirs you. That's right, what actually stirs you? What are the things that you could be into that could stir these emotions? Now, these emotions are not bad, and God gave us these emotions, so they're good for us, and they will benefit us one day. But for now, while we are young, let love sleep until we are ready, because love is a powerful, powerful thing. So, what stirs these emotions? For you, it could be read it equals beat it. That's right, read it equals beat it. Maybe you're a big reader and you read teen romance books. Now, how do they make you feel? Honestly, how do they make you feel? Because these books will start to stir you and if you aren't careful, you will awaken love and unleash its power at such a young age. So we need to let love sleep. We gotta be young, have fun, hang out with our friends, dream about the future for now because love is so powerful. We really gotta let it sleep. The next thing that will awaken our love emotions are movies and shows. That's right, movies and shows. Maybe you're watching romantic movies or movies with a lot of sex or other adult content in them. And because you're watching these movies and shows, you are starting to awaken things deep inside of you. These feelings and emotions are normal, but they don't need to be awakened just yet. Because if they are, you will jump into a relationship because you want to know what it feels like to touch someone like that or to be touched like that. And then you end up putting yourself in many compromising positions all because you awaken love before it's so desired. No, you didn't just say that. 
Oh, yes, I did. Also, to put things in place or to turn the channel to keep you from compromising yourself shows a lot of maturity and self-control. Students, you can do this. Make a plan and get it done. Next thing, maybe it's music. Now, I love all kinds of music, even country music from time to time. But here's the deal. 91% of pop songs are all about sex, love, and relationships. And most country songs are as well. That's a crazy high percentage. So we've got to be really careful of what we're listening to and, and noticing if the songs that we're into are stirring our emotions. So those are just a few things that could stir our love emotions. Now, one last thing I want to talk to you about, and this is one of those things that, that some of you could be allowing to stir or awaken feelings of love inside of you, and it's porn. Porn is toxic, and porn, it can be found anywhere, on your phone, computer, TV, magazines, videos. You could have friends that you look at it with, or you could have friends that you share it with, or nobody, or you could be into this and nobody even knows that you're into it. Porn is anything that is designed to cause sexual arousal. The thing about porn is, it's all a lie. That's right, it's all a lie. It's completely fake. From the actors to the actresses, it's all fake. It's not real. Here's how porn affects you. It stirs, awakens the feelings of the desire of love inside of you, and it distorts it. It distorts what sex is. And porn is so dangerous, it's addictive. It affects how you look at members of the opposite sex or the same sex and it distorts what sex is. It will affect every relationship that you have. A lot of times when you first see it, it gives you an uh-oh feeling in your stomach. And don't ignore these feelings, all right? Because this is serious. You gotta run away from it, like literally get out of it. For example, we tell our students this all the time, man, if a friend shows you porn or if you stumble upon it, then you've got to run away and get away quick like somebody's trying to put a booger on you. That's nasty, but that is how we have to look at it because it's that serious. Now, if you're into porn, tell your parents or tell a Max Life leader or a trusted adult so we can help you and walk alongside of you through it. Never forget, you are loved and you are never alone. And this is nothing to be ashamed of. So let's make a plan. That's all we got, Max Life. Make a plan. Love is a serious thing. So for now, let it sleep. Max Groups Live is next week, and yes, the quencher will be open. Let's pray. Yeah.